So let's take a look at the origins of SafeRTOS and the similarities and differences between it and FreeRTOS. I'll go over some of the API changes to expect, and then we'll go through a brief example, turning a very simple FreeRTOS project into a SafeRTOS one. As you can probably guess, SafeRTOS shares some heritage with FreeRTOS. Back in the distant mists of time, around about 2004, Richard Barry was working for a small British-based uh, aerospace and simulation business, itself part of the Wittgenstein Group. Wittgenstein in Germany mostly deals in precision industrial engineering, but there are a couple of offices in the UK, and the one that I work at is where FreeRTOS and SafeRTOS were born. Richard spent his evenings and free time developing FreeRTOS, and he set up a small company to license and distribute it, and to offer training and support. It rapidly became very popular, and Richard and a few others at Wittgenstein recognised that there was a real demand for something like FreeRTOS, but that was tailored specifically to the safety-critical market, and commercially licensed. Wittgenstein High Integrity Systems was formed to develop SafeRTOS, and also began to offer a commercial support licence for FreeRTOS itself. SafeRTOS is based on the FreeRTOS functional model. It builds on the popularity and the success of FreeRTOS, but it has been completely re-engineered by Wittgenstein safety experts to be safety certifiable according to the major safety critical industry standards. SafeRTOS is offered pre-certified for a given platform and compiler, which typically saves customers quite a lot of effort and money. All the benefits of a tried and tested RTOS, but without the overhead of validating and obtaining certification for what amounts to a fairly major and complicated component of the final product. Using the same functional model as FreeRTOS makes for a relatively easy migration for developers with a FreeRTOS background. Recently, as you've heard, Richard and FreeRTOS have moved to Amazon Web Services, where FreeRTOS continues to be free, both in the beery and the speech senses, and it continues to enjoy loads of community support, and it's increasingly augmented by AWS cloud connectivity and security offerings. SafeRTOS, though, has always been and remains a Wittgenstein High Integrity Systems product. Compared with FreeRTOS, SafeRTOS is more minimal, and obviously it's focused on safety. SafeRTOS is certified to IEC 61508 Safety Integrity Level 3 and ISO 26262 ACLD, and this certification is underwritten by TVZUD, which has a 150-year track record of safety oversight. That means that you can design safety-critical embedded systems around SafeRTOS with a good confidence in being able to get the system overall safety certified. One big concern in safety-critical applications is policing access to memory, and most CPUs targeted at the safety-critical market feature some kind of memory protection unit. Although FreeRTOS can support MPUs, that tends to be the exception rather than the rule. But in SafeRTOS, MPU use is key and central. And in SafeRTOS, as I mentioned, we do a lot more error and integrity checking. We encourage and facilitate static allocation of everything, and so on. We also try to omit seldom-used features, and to restrict the complexity overall. This is always easier to build a safety case if there's less code, and if that code is less complicated. Overall then, SafeRTOS is a safety-focused upgrade from FreeRTOS. It's developed and maintained to the rigorous safety standards and offers it as a pre-certified platform on which to build a safety-critical product, but it follows the same basic functional model as FreeRTOS. So, if FreeRTOS looks roughly like this, first the MPU. As I said, FreeRTOS does provide some MPU-aware ports, but there are very few, and the way the MPU is used differs quite markedly. In FreeRTOS, the MPU is treated as an add-on, so you create tasks as usual, but you can choose to make some tasks restricted. That is, you can make them run in unprivileged mode. With SafeRTOS, on the other hand, the MPU is generally integrated as a fundamental part of the RTOS. All tasks are created from the outset as either privileged or unprivileged, and all tasks have a set of MPU parameters that can grant any necessary additional access to unprivileged tasks. There are SafeRTOS ports for non-MPU processors, but they're a rarity. Next, static allocation. In FreeRTOS, the kernel uses some kind of heap function, or malloc, to allocate memory for tasks, stacks, queue, buffers, and so on. In fact, FreeRTOS provides no less than five of these heap management schemes to choose from, and allows you to supply your own if you don't fancy any of those ones. In safety-critical software, we prefer to statically allocate everything, 
So Safeartos has no heap functions and does no automated memory allocation. Preartos also provides various options for how the scheduler works. It can be quite comprehensively tailored by conditionally compiling features in or out. This doesn't really fit with safety certification. Basically, we're looking to reduce the number of things that might change. So in Safeartos, we have a single set of features. In Freeartos, there are macros throughout the kernel that can be used to track kernel activity, like the switching in or out of tasks, or the deletion of queues and so on. In Safeartos, we can't generally allow application code to be built into the kernel, so these aren't there. And there are a bunch of other extra features and facilities that we consider not strictly necessary. We're much slower to introduce new features, uh, as the safety case for each has to be meticulously built. So, Safeartos looks more like this. Various stuff that's difficult to fit into the safety critical software paradigm is removed. The MPU takes a central role, and it's leaner and, and it's a leaner and meaner API overall. And there are fewer options, but a lot more integrity checking. So, Safeartos resembles Freeartos reimagined, if you like. It's important to remember, though, that they are quite separate products with very different development and maintenance pro maintenance processes. Safeartos is built to functional safety standards via a rigorous safety audited process. Although it follows the FreeRTOS functional model, it's not just FreeRTOS with some bits chopped off and better MPU support. Thanks for watching. Uh, remember, you can download more resources for free from our download center.